Well, today, you'll find me here by this American flag, this old fort. This is Fort Negley in Nashville. This fort uh, was all built by former slaves and runaway slaves that were pretty much forced to build this by the United States Army in the Civil War. Uh, this fort was built a uh, little about two years before the Battle of Franklin. And uh, right after the Battle of Franklin, uh, uh, the war came right here. And um, the, uh, the U.S. Army took Nashville like two years before and they completely occupied Nashville. And uh, when they wanted to build this fort, they went to the three largest black churches in Nashville and took all the men and women and pretty much said, you got to come build this fort and uh, we'll give you an IOU for some money later, which I think they eventually ended up paying uh, uh, the people to, 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 to build it. But this is what they built. And uh, uh, this fort here, Fort Nagley, saw a lot of war, a lot of action uh, um, in uh, December of um, 19, I mean, 1864. And uh, all, all hand built uh, with pickaxes and shovels by freed slaves and runaway slaves in, uh, in 1862. And they actually made them fight in the war too. They made them make their own line and make their own officers and all that, but they didn't give them any guns. They only gave them their pickaxes and shovels that they used to build this place to actually fight. And they did fight. And um, after that, you know, uh, uh, the, the U.S. Army soldiers, they really uh, uh, backed the, uh, uh, the black people here uh, in Nashville and uh, uh, really helped them out. And uh, this is uh, all hand built by, by, uh, uh, by freed slaves. Um, this is uh, February 1st, the beginning of Black History Month. And uh, I thought it would be really uh, interesting to show some, some black history that helped uh, um, shape um, America uh, to free, to get themselves free from slavery. And uh, you'll see it right here that, um, you know, even though that they said they were forced to work and build this, they, those people knew that helping build this was going to mean eventually for the future and their kids, their, their grandkids and great grandkids, that they would be free people too. So building this it's something amazing and uh, it's really beautiful. It's a cold day on February 1st, 2023 here at Fort Negley. And uh, you look at the beautiful craftsmanship built here. And uh, we're gonna take a walk around, Let's check it out. Okay, you can see the beginning of, of the fort there. And if you look back over there, there's a huge reservoir that was built in 1890 that, ha that holds the water for Nashville. And uh, as we move up here, you'll see how they use the bedrock to make a natural wall. And they probably just had to use pickaxes and pickaxe all that down and to, to build that wall like that. You see all the grass and everything all has frost on it and looks uh, really beautiful. Look at that. All frosty. You see the wall that was all pickaxe down. You can see downtown Nashville is right there. There's the buildings and all that. Uh, there's a big pyramid right there, which is interesting um, as heck, right here at Fort Bagley. Um, he said it is cold as hell out here. Uh, it's freezing. Freezing. It's freezing. Below freezing. Below freezing. Two pyramids. Look at that. I don't know. Why is there a pyramid? Why is there a There's a path right here. So we'll take the path out. Check it out. Thank you. 
Yeah, this is the path many soldiers took during the Civil War. They took this same path walking up here like this. Now they are doing construction up here. So I don't know how far we can actually get inside the fort, but we can put pretty close to it. See how close that this actually is to downtown. There's downtown. Here's Fort Negley. I have no idea what these buildings are right here with these pyramids. Really weird. Looks like we can walk right up and around here. A little icy. Go check it out. See, it is cold. Ooh. See how big some of these boulders are. They're huge. This way, a ton. See a lot of construction going on. See that? You know, from here you can really see why this is such a good fort. It's on this huge hill. And you can see all down, all around. And uh, like I said, the Cumberland River is right over there. Football stadium downtown. See how big this fort is. Everything around right now. Uh, so big. And uh, it's, it's all frozen. Look here. Everything's frozen. Ooh. But it's really pretty out here. And once again, nobody's here. So I love about Tennessee. Nobody's ever out here. And uh, wow. It's like the view from up here. You can see all around Nashville, 360 degrees. This is uh, an all built, like I said, once again, uh, on the backbone of freed slaves. Down here, it looks like part of the wall's been busted. Wow. <coughs> See these stairs right here? Man, another cool spot. Wow, look at this. Man, I wonder if that got hit with cannonballs or something. Wow, look at that. You see how well built it all is? Wow, kind of feel like I'm back in the Civil War era. Uh, it's creepy being alone out here like this. And nobody here. I hear the sounds of the city behind me. But it's kind of uh, eerie. It's kind of eerie, I'm telling you. Just standing here like this isn't a, um, it's not a, it's not a happy feeling. Um, I'm proud of uh, the people who built it. Um, I'm proud that uh, America uh, fought for the right thing and this is uh, a part of history that needs to be preserved as it is and uh, so we remember why remember who built this remember why why it was built who it was protecting really awesome yeah. Yeah, everything's frozen so it looks so cool. But it's definitely nice and clean here. Nobody's came out here and dirtied it up. Nice and clean. 
as I see that there's a bottle on the ground. See, you know, that looks like it collapsed. I don't know if it was collapsed on purpose. Backside over here of this. You hear the trains in the background? Wow. I didn't realize how old this timber is right here. Huh. Still standing. Still here. You hear the trains all the way down there. See, this is just layer after layer after layer of this. Uh, imagine all the horses, all the men, all the cannons strategically put in different spots. <coughs> See all the way down there. So it's like a here. Walk in the grass. Wow. You see downtown behind me. Here we are. Downtown. Fort Negley. Petra. And this is a, a sad, beautiful, amazing part of American history right here, Fort Negley. Uh, go ahead and look it up. Uh, this is it. It's amazing right here in Nashville, Tennessee. On the south side. Donay was cold, so I kind of left her down there at the bottom. So we gotta go get Donay. Uh, pretty amazing up here. You know, uh, you never know what you're gonna find here in Nashville as far as the history. Um, man, like, this is a lot of work. And they said it took them four months to build all this. Only four months. It took uh, um, 2,400 free slaves and runaway slaves to build this whole entire fort. All of this, the layers and layers and layers uh, to build all this. Uh, pretty amazing. And uh, this was the actual biggest fort, you know, uh, uh, west of Washington, D.C. at the time uh, when this was built. And it was built to fight for Nashville. So that the, the U.S. Army... If we, t if we held Nashville, then uh, uh, it would pretty much end the war. And it did. Uh, there wasn't much war after that. Oh, wow. Really big. Really big spot. Okay, I'm trying to walk on this ice. It's really slick. Hope it don't fall. I gotta squeeze through here. Ooh. Yeah, that is slick there. What do you think of this place? Um, it's definitely a good vantage point. You can see, I can see why they chose it as a fort. You can see everything. It's a very spooky. Very spooky, huh? Yeah, it is kind of spooky. I think that the, the 2,400 uh, people that built this, they did it in four months. <laughs> Yeah, look at the size of these stones. They're huge. And to do all of this in four months. But like I said, they, they knew what they were building and why they were building it. And uh, this was to help uh, uh, to free uh, uh, the rest of the, the, the American slaves. And uh, there it is. Fort Negley here, even though it was built by freed slaves and runaway slaves, and uh, 
you know, they really worked their butts off to build this place. Uh, after the Civil War, Fort Negley was taken over by the Ku Klux Klan to uh, have their secret meetings at. You know, what, kind, what type of uh, BS is that? But uh, uh, that was done away with. And uh, wow, just like the history of that place behind. What, what, what it went through right there. Um, who built it, what it became, what it fought against. Then having the Ku Klux Klan come in there. Wow. Uh, uh, really amazing history. Uh, you can feel gloom and darkness and all that when you're walking around there. Um, always awesome to be able to walk around these places. And nobody else is here. Uh, just complete free range. Gotta love Tennessee for that. You really do. What are you looking at there? Glory. Yes, she is beautiful. Fly, baby, fly.